Hello and welcome to The Extra, my name is Nick Doaf. This week I'm going to talk to you about a movie remake that was a great movie during the 1970s, they decided to make a real poor remake of it in the 2000s. That movie was Rollerball. The original film was made in 1975 with the setting having the film take place during 2018. For those of you that are wondering, Rollerball is similar to Roller Derby, but more violent. In Rollerball, participants are suited up with armor, where contact is encouraged. The main goal is for the teams to score a goal with a softball-sized steel ball. The one catch? is that the person who has the ball must have the ball present at all times. This version stars James Kahn as Jonathan E., who is the star player on his team. John Hoseman stars as Bartholomew, the man who is the chairman of the Energy Corporation, which happens to sponsor the team that Jonathan is a part of. The film also stars Maude Adams as Ella, Jonathan's ex-wife, and their marriage had ended when Ella became an executive. The main plot throughout the film is to find a way to make Jonathan retire, which he refuses to do. Jonathan's team makes it to the championship game, where there is a stipulation added. In the championship game, the rules are for the game to be played without substitutions and no time limit. In a way, the corporation wants there to be absolutely no way that Jonathan can win. It then becomes the gla a, gla a gladiatorial last man standing event, where there can only be one winner. It comes down to Jonathan and a guy on the other team. Jonathan then grabs a hold of the ball and ends up scoring the only goal of the game. The final scene involves Jonathan skating around the track with spectators chanting Jonathan's name repeatedly. The overall reception of this film was good. TV Guide had gave it a 3 out of 4 stars rating, saying that the performance by Khan was excellent and the rollerball sequences are fast paced and interesting. Time Magazine's Jay Cox posted a negative review of the film. Cox had stated that Khan looked very unconvincing and uncomfortable as Jonathan. Now to the remake that according to Metacritic.com was one of the worst movie remakes of all time. This installment of rollerball takes place in modern time unlike the previous one where it takes place in the distant future. It starts off when an NHL hopeful Jonathan Cross, played by Chris Klein, is recruited by Marcus Ridley, played by LL Cool J, to join him on a team in Kazakhstan. The team is joined by a female teammate named Aurora, also known as the Black Widow, played by Rebecca Romaine. By this time, rollerball has increased popularity worldwide, with teams even in Central Asia. The promoter Alexei Petrovich, played by Jean Reno, and his assistant Sanjay, played by Naveen Andrews, become intrigued by the popularity of the sport and they want the game to become as gory as possible. The overall reception of this film was terrible. Chris Klein, the main character in the film, was referred to as a bland hero. Time Out's Trevor Johnson had stated that the film was perfect for 15-year-olds. The reason for that being there was heavy metal music being played throughout the film, including the frequent sightings of motorbikes and skateboards. Rotten Tomatoes had ranked the film 28th in the worst reviewed films of the 2000s with a terrible approval rating of 3%. With all the negatives that came with the film, there was one positive. Rebecca Romaine was nominated for a Razzie in the category of we're supporting actress. Thanks for watching the extra. I'm Nick Doroff. Enjoy the rest of the show.